Karthik used to spend his time near the seashore after college. He lives alone in Goa. Instead of going home, he used to do his work by sitting on the seashore and left the place after sunset only. Like every day, he got lay while doing his college work. After that, he thought about leaving. <sighs> it's getting late. By the way, it's good for me. This quiet place is better than the city's crowd. If I live alone in the house, I'll get mad. Let's go. I have to prepare some food also. Otherwise, I will have to sleep hungry again. Karthik started leaving after thinking that he wrapped up his things and stood up. He started walking, but suddenly he heard a screaming sound of a girl which was so loud. But when he tried to focus on the place where the sound was coming from, he found a shadow there. That sound was coming from here only, but uh, I am not able to see anything because of this darkness. Hmm, what should I do? Let's check. What's going on? Perhaps, maybe that girl is in trouble. Uh, I should check now. Karthik started walking towards the sound of that girl. As soon as he took some steps towards that girl, he was able to see her quite clearly. The girl was still far away, but it seemed that uh, she was fighting with someone on the phone. I already told you before that I want to celebrate this Valentine's only with you. I have been waiting for you for a long time. If you don't want to come, then at least you would have informed me once. Now why are you silent? Answer me. Hello? Hello? <laughs> How dare you? Karthik was comprehending the situation a little bit. He wanted to go to the girl. But uh, he was hesitating. Should I go or not? Don't know what she will think of me. Mm, let it go. Karthik was leaving after that. After walking a while, that girl called him. Hey, listen. Can you help me, please? Karthik stopped after listening to her. He turned and started walking towards that girl. After that, he asked her. What happened? Um, hey. I'm Karishma and I came here from Mumbai today. Um, actually I came to meet with my fiancé. But maybe he is busy with his work. Therefore he couldn't come to meet me. Um, I need your help. Could you help me find a room for tonight? Of course. Uh, there is a hotel near this beach. You can stay there. Yeah, that will be better. Karishma and Karthik left for the hotel. They got to know several things about each other after a little conversation. Karishma told him that she came here to meet his fiancée. But uh, he refused to come. Karthik now understood the situation and he started feeling bad for her. So he asked, By the way, today is Valentine's Day. Did you come here to celebrate that? Yes. I made a plan for today, but uh, now everything's spoiled. Look, it's your personal matter. Uh, I shouldn't say anything, but that man doesn't deserve you. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I'm obeying my parents. They reached the hotel after a long conversation. When they reached inside the hotel, they found out uh, that the rooms weren't available because of Valentine's Day. Karishma got upset. After knowing this, Karthik started trying to make her understand the situation. But she didn't want to understand anything because of her anger. Karthik holds her hand and tries to calm her down. During this struggle, they came very close to each other.
But after a while, they realized that it was wrong. Whatever they did, they ignored it and moved on. I don't understand anything. Um, I should go back to the beach. Perhaps uh, my fiancé would come there. That's not a good idea to go back there at night. It seems like you don't know about that place past. Yeah, I know. But I don't have another choice. If you don't mind, let me come with you. When your fiancé will come, uh, then I will leave. Karishma said yes after listening to him. And both of them returned to that beach. So tell me, what do you know about this place? Yeah, my fiancé told me about this beach. And he told me horror stories about this place. He told me that uh, 10 years ago, an entire family attempted suicide on this beach. But after some time, found that a man named Raghav killed his family by giving them poison. People say that Raghav had a doubt on his wife that she had an affair with another man. And both of his kids do not belong to him. That's why he did all these things. And this place has become haunted since then. Hmm. You know many things about this place. By the way, what do you think? Did he do wrong or right? I don't think he did anything right. He was totally wrong. It was not fair to kill the whole family. Can be possible that he took the right decision. Killing people can never be right. Now you tell me, was he right? What happened? You also don't have any answer. In my opinion, he did right whatever he did. <laughs> of course, you are a man, therefore you will support him, won't you? I will support him because I am that Rambo! tries to prove me wrong, I, I kill them too. My wife made the same mistake. She was blaming me to, to save his lover. She didn't tell me the truth after I've seen so many times. So, <laughs> so I killed her by myself. <laughs> I am tired now and I am late again. I think I have to sleep hungry again tonight. Happy Valentine's Day! If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment and to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.